Did you know that although most of us think of the ladybug as red with black spots, ladybugs come in many different colors, yellow, orange, brown, pink, and even black. Sometimes their spots don't look like spots at all, but more like stripes. Hi, and welcome to the ladybug two example problem. All right, we're gonna start by adding six to our abacus. Next, we'll add one. Next, we'll add two. And finally, we wanna add nine. Well, to add nine to nine, I've encountered my condition that I don't have enough beads to add nine. In this case, I have no available beads. Well, this is where we use our 10 pair addition rule. Okay, 10 pair addition rule says add one to the next rod left and then subtract nine's 10 pair. Well, what's nine's 10 pair? Nine's 10 pair is one. So I subtract one for a final answer of 18. Let's start a second problem with nine. I'm gonna subtract eight. And now I wanna add nine. Well, to add nine to one, you could see I only have eight beads available, which is not enough to add the number nine. Therefore, I'm gonna use my 10 pair addition rule, add one to the next rod left, and subtract nine's 10 pair, which is one. Finally, I'll add six for a final answer of 16. So as you can see, uh, in Ladybug 2 here, we added a second 10 pair, where in Ladybug 1, we were using the 10 pair five and five. Here in Ladybug 2, we're using our 10 pair nine and one. Hi, and welcome to the Ladybug 2 finger movement practice. So in Ladybug 2, we are looking at the 10 pair nine and one. So we want to look at the case when we want to add nine to our target rod when there aren't enough beads. So if I place a one on my abacus and then I want to add nine, well, I've only got eight beads available. So I must use my 10 pair addition rule, which says add one to the next rod left and then subtract nine's 10 pair one from the target rod. So this shows that one plus nine is one zero or 10. Well, let's take a look at that a little bit closer on our finger movement. So to execute the finger movement for the 10 pair addition rule, I'm going to use my thumb to add one to the next rod left and my index finger to subtract the pair. So it is this simple combination movement that when you get good at it, you'll just simply execute them both at the same time.